we're back on the road again. It's been a while, eh, Neil? It sure has. But you know, we don't like doing these kind of uh, paranormal investigations. When it when it's uh, light up, it's on midnight. You know what I mean? Orange needs his beauty sleep, and Luke gets asked to get up at about five in the morning to catch the bus. We're off to a, a Shrewsbury prison. Have you got uh, got all your supplies? What you got? Standard. I've got a bag of fruit pasta. I've got my waiter. I want a sponge cake. A sponge cake. Sponge cake. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> it's very nice. We're supposed to be having a sleep over, but yeah, we want to get home. Can't beat your own beds, can you, lads? Oh, hey. no. Oh. You know what I mean? Anyway, we'll see you lot in a bit. They hang us now in Shrewsbury Jail. The whistles blow forlorn and trains all night groan on the rail to men that die at morn. So we've just entered our cell, cell number four. Um, we've just uh, been greeted by Mike from Stranger Things, uh, Finn Wolfar. Gets in the red, doesn't he? Yeah. Mike, if you're watching this, you do, you do, you do, yeah. you look like Mike from Stranger Things. He was in uh, it. He was in it. He was in Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, and then he's working in Shrewsbury Prison. Yeah, he's fun at night times. So we've just found a haunted pew. There's a haunted pew on the. Uh, Neil has just sat on a metal bed and it's collapsed. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No. Hundred Kong has been in here because it's only fun. It's his it's his own. But it's metal, Neil. But it's not awful, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying anything. Uh, so yeah, this is the start of our sentence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't believe we're in together. Yeah. What, what's the odds of that? What's the odds? So that's us. So we'll uh, we'll see you through the night. Wish us luck. Yeah. Neil's about to get frisked. Yeah. Amsterdam all right. Thank you. I need to restore himself this time. We'll see you soon. Just a quick note. Us three weren't even supposed to be here. It was uh, my old pal from up north, Stephen. He was supposed to be coming down with two, uh, two of his mates. Uh, but they couldn't make it, so we've we've ended up doing it. Uh, and he's given us the tickets for free. So, cheers, my son. Cheers, pal. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, has he gone so red? <laughs> is that cutting is that cutting off the circulation? So we just started our investigation. We're in the execution room. You can't see it, but there, there's a big hole in the floor, and obviously there was. A lot of people are gonna comment on this video and say there's a lot of orbs and stuff, but I can see that there's loads of dust here. I was going to put it on anyway. It's all, it's all dust. It's not so, true, it's 99%. This is literally dust. So, it's not orbs. So here's the, uh, the hangman rope. So, uh, a few people, I think 70 people got executed. Down this hatch, down here. There you go. So we'll introduce ourselves. My name's Luke, that's John, and that's Neil. It's uh, ten past ten. I don't know how long that last video went on for, but um, just switched itself off for some reason. So does anyone here want to communicate with us? Um, obviously, it'd be good if you could appear and show yourself. If you want to speak to us? Can do. Um, if you want to make a noise, any sort of noise. Come on, Mr. Ellis, move this rope. Come on, let us know that you're leaving us. I just want to talk, really. See if we've got anything to say. Yep, bit of life here. I know that it feels like there's someone here, so hello, whoever, whoever you are. My name's Luke. That's John, that's Neil. We just we just here to we just want to say hello, we just want to communicate with him. 
So if you if you can make a noise, you can touch one of us, please, or just anything, anything, just to let us know that you are here. Come join us. You last the days on earth. Come on, uh, come and enjoy. Come and join us. Luke, John, and Neil. We've come a long way. We have. Just for his ring, I'm 54. Just to come and, come and see anyone. Anyone see our ring, eh? Okay. George, George Riley. Thomas Cox. William Griffiths. Frank Griffiths. <laughs> so Neil's got the K2. That's that box there. All you have to do is just move towards it. It's literally as simple as that. Move towards it. The lights will start to flash. That'll let us know that here. Did you work here? Were you imprisoned here? Did you die here? What did you do to end up here? <clears throat> Was you the execution? just come into this room next to the hanging room and uh, we're just going to do a little bit of a bit of a call out in this room because uh, Joe was saying it's a bit weird in here it's half past ten it's half past ten like Luke said so we've got a proximity meter Neil where's the K2? Oh, the K2's over there in the corner so we'll just do a little call out in here there he is, the locust pulling out the vibe. Does anything what we think might have been in the other room can hear my voice come and join us in here? It don't feel that bad in here, does it? No. It feels quite I could even I could get asleep in here to be fair. This might be the chill out room. Come on, make a noise for us in here, please, will you? Come and stand outside the door. Could be. Could have had the last meal in here or something. Is there anybody in here apart from me, Luke and Neil? If so, make your presence known. Do it if you want us to stay or do it if you want us to go. It's totally up to you. I'm just walking through now. I'm uh, going up the stairs to the cell. See what we can find. Oh, we've got our own cell. Uh, let's figure out which one, I, which way I'm gonna go. Number three. Oh, I don't know. So far, nothing's really happened. We've had a bit of. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a few cold spots, but. Nothing, nothing major. It's literally just a prison. <laughs> so a little wander around. See if we're gonna pick anything up in the background. Nah. How cool would it be if something come running down there towards me you now? Seventy meter going off again. Is that orange, Mr. Oh, yeah. Neil? Hello there. What do you reckon? I'm staying here. Would you? Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Get down. Get on lockdown. Wait. Is that so? No. Shut the door. It's quite dark in here. 
This is how dark it is. There's uh, Johnny's got the old infrared on. We're in. And there's our toilet. Did you see that on the camera? I'm K2 is starting to spike. We're all on airplane mode. Turn off, I know. Now, look, we've got the fucking haunted bedroom. Yeah, I hope so. Mm -hmm. Why is this spiking? We have to. We've got to try and debunk it, haven't we? Yeah, that's what we Come do. On, switch it off and switch it back on again. You had the fongs, Neil. John, switch it off switch it back on again. Okay, off. They play the debunk beds. Debunk beds. There you go. There's the proximity meter. Okay, it's a bit mad. I'm going to leave it there away from us. I need the light switches. That's not making any. They're doing anything next to the light switch. I don't think where we could put it, the sink. Shall we throw all the up here? I'm literally out of the way of everything up here. Make sure we found the there, playing well. One's here with us at the minute, and that is you there, making that go to orange. Can you make it go a little bit further? To red. To red, or even, there you go. just Watch stop for a second, just so we know that it's you, and then... You went right down, straight away. Right, just stop the lights. Stop it for a second, please, and then keep going. Just so we know that it, it's you that's there. Wow. Okay. Okay, now shoot it all out to red. If you go even closer, it will move it further up. The further away you move, it will go down to green, and then the closer you move, it will take it even further up. Has somebody followed us here from the hanging room? If so, who is it? I'm thinking, if that's going off like that, there's got to be something in here making it happen. Like, it can't be. But what could it be, Luke? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to quickly turn the lights on. If that's someone with us, if you could just move away from the box, just so it goes down to green. Just so the lights start flashing for a second, just so we know that it's, it's someone with us. And now you can move a bit closer, and then it'll go, it'll go even further up. It's not going to hurt you. As you can see, it's literally just the noise, the, the, the lights that are flashing. Is this yourself? So we're just trying to debunk. Another light, man. So, up by the light. Nothing. Closer to me. Okay, if that's you, keep it on red for a couple of seconds. Just come a little bit closer for a couple of seconds and it'll stay on red. It's not. Yeah. Where's your phone? Look, it's in your back. Yeah, mine's on the airplane mode. Look. Do you want to try and communicate with us? 
you want to communicate with us, just just leave it on green for a couple for a couple of seconds. Yeah, okay, airplane mode. Would you like us to leave? If you do, then just leave it on green for a couple of seconds. Or are you just here? I don't, I've got pins and needles for some reason. Yeah. It ain't like a, it ain't a nice feeling. Mm -hmm. It's like little pin pricks. That's getting fucking crazy, man. What the fuck? That's What's getting me is if it was something that's constant, it would just stay, wouldn't it? It yeah. would just stay on that. So it's like it's fluctuating. So nothing really there now. And then, and then it's moving back up again, look. Turn it off, man. Just for a second. Still there. Oh, some energy in here then, somewhere. Yeah. So you've got all of this energy. Try and make us a noise. She got us busted tattoo, that's right. Yeah. There you go, there's a noise piece of copy. You get fed up with that music next door, do you? No. Nope. I don't get that. You're in someone's bed, you're on John, obviously. I've carried that about. All night. Two rooms. Oh, nothing. nothing. The camera's on by you. Just very faintly flickering. And Luke, pick it up above your head. For some reason, it starts to get crazy in this area here. Good work there. Hmm? There's nothing on this bed. There's nothing. Unless the battery wouldn't get static off the mattress and shit like that, would you? No, because it's just green. Oh. Yeah, I'll it here. Just don't, we're trying to debunk this one while he's going crazy. It's really. a smoke alarm. That wouldn't really make any difference. It's just fucking, it's just a wooden, I mean a concrete room. With a sink and a fucking toilet. Now we're in a plug socket in. Right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try something. I'm just gonna go out the room and see if it stops. How the fuck do you get out? Locked in. Huh? Oh. I clapped my hands up one, haven't I? I really don't know. So as you can see, for some reason I think that either the K2 is playing or it's stopped now. As you can see it's stopped. There's little flickers here and there. And in the room here, our cell, it's going bloody crazy. So is there some negative energy in there? We don't know. As soon as you enter this room, I'm lost for words with that one. So we've just left uh, the prison. We couldn't stop any longer. Too many people, too much noise pollution. But Jo, what a fantastic woman. Fantastic place. We, uh, we witnessed a couple of weird, weird things, like uh, in the hangman's room, cold patches and stuff like that. And the K2 was blasting off in cell number three. And uh, the proximity range went off twice, didn't it? Yeah. But we didn't have, we didn't have the cameras on. Of course, we haven't been filming it. And hopefully we'll be coming back here. We're just going to hit the road now because of all the fucking drunks coming out the bars. So, uh, it's been great. We'll see you a lot later. It's the first time I've seen someone get kicked out of a prison. I know, yeah. yeah.